Hey guys, I'm Jared from the Meeple Mentor YouTube channel, and today we're doing an unboxing for Alexander Pfister's latest game called Cloud Age, uh, published by Capstone Games. Uh, the, this was pre-order and all that kind of stuff. I don't believe it was kickstarted, um, but it's now available, and I just received my copy and very interested to see what's inside. I, of course, have not played this, so um, I'm learning along with you right now, and I wanted to just get it on camera, and if you guys wanted to see what's inside, here we go. Um, but I'm going to read what's on the back first so we get an idea of how this game works. So Cloud Age. Uh, Fifteen years ago, the mysterious secret society Cloud set fire to countless oil production sites and burned down large forests to destabilize the world. The resulting environmental catastrophe had disastrous effects on the entire planet. Now, years later, you travel above the dried out landscape in your airships, searching for a better life. You visit cities, send out drones to collect resources and battle cloud militia. Cloud Age is a mix of engine building, deck building and resource management. The campaign system makes it easy to start playing quickly with new elements being introduced into the game as players progress through the chapters. While you play, you also experience and help guide the story. If you prefer, you can also play uh, standalone story spin-offs as single scenarios. Resources allow players to develop useful upgrades for their airships or attract new crew members. An innovated sleeving mechanism makes a new, more immersive form of resource gathering possible. Players try to predict which cloud-covered terrain will contain the desired amount of resources or where additional actions are possible. So that's cool. Um, I like the idea of deck building, engine building, and the, the sleeving uh, card me mechanism, which we saw recently in, in Canvas. So um, Alexander Pfister has made some of my favorite games you know, ever, like Maracaibo and uh, Great Western Trail. So we'll see. I mean, this is certainly not those games. It's something different, something new. And uh, of course, also designed by Arno Steinwinder. So we'll see how this uh, how this looks and uh, hopefully get to play it soon. So right on top, of course, we've got the rule book. And, you know, it's, uh, what is it, 16 pages, a little bit of, you know, We've got some artwork here, which is nice, helpful to set up the game, all the different game boards. Great, I'll set that aside. And, okay, we've got these, got some hex pieces, these little pieces. Um, this looks like your personal player board, I'd imagine, which looks like a cloud airship, so that's cool. Got purple, white over here. And what's this? It's basically the same that I'm seeing here. Look, maybe a water resource, I'm guessing. I mean, clouds are made with water. Why not? Uh, this looks like some kind of point scoring track or maybe resource track. Um, so you've got blue, white, uh, yellowish, orange, and, and purple that you can move up. This here. And we've got some map boards, it seems. So two-sided, they look different. Um, so I can't tell, this might be like a view from above as far as like um, being in the clouds or in the sky and really tiny, you can see like maybe towns below, but you may not interact with them. But so far it's all very colorful, uh, which is always appreciated, you know, to keep you engaged. Um, that way it doesn't feel dry or cumbersome. Okay, here's the yellow player board and these tokens that go with that. Got another map piece here with some of these other hex tokens. We've got these L14, L15, these types of tiles. I'm not sure how those come into play yet. Um, but of course, all these different locations have certain abilities or resources shown. So that's useful as you're playing. Okay, you can see that one. Different on the other side. Okay. And here we've got this. So this is different. Um, this must be some kind of 
communal piece where you can maybe recruit cards or various actions that you could do. Um, this is named 1A, so maybe this is the first map that you use in a one to three player game, that's my guess. Okay, we have here on top a bunch of stickers. That's interesting. I haven't seen a whole bunch of stickers like this in a game in a while. Looks like one of mine's actually come off. Stick that back on here. Yep, there we go. Fixed it, right? Good as new. So we've got uh, clouds. We've got airships. We've got little icons for black and white versions of these and an X and a check on what looks like a notebook. Uh, here's some card sleeves in a baggie. Since it did say you're gonna be doing some upgrading via card sleeves. And here's some of the cards. Here's some tokens. And that's nice. It includes a nice little uh, bag, an opaque bag, black cards and a bundle of baggies to sort all these tokens. So uh, let's just take a look at what some of these tokens are. They're all made of wood. No screen printing, but certainly painted wood. And those airships are very chunky. Uh, they're pretty large. And you've got these tall cylinders. You've got, looks like a lightning bolt wooden piece here. You've got cubes, you've got discs, you've got hex tokens. Yeah, and the various player colors. And in that other bag here, it looks to be the same stuff, but in the light, light brown color, or perhaps like unpainted color of tokens. All right, it's the blue, yellow, purple, and this light tan color. And these must be some resources. So, looks like little water droplets. These are much thinner um, compared to those airships. You know, wooden piece tokens. And this could be steel, iron, or stone, something like that. Okay, feels good, good quality. You know, and let's open these cards. You know, let's take a look. What do these look like? Get my thing. Oh, here, let me just pull from this side. So since it mentioned adding new stuff throughout the game, I will, I guess, caveat that we might see some stuff from future missions or something. So I'll just do a quick sort of flip through. See what kind of missions we see. Okay. That's your look at that. Now in here, So, looks like there's several types of cards here. That's all one stack. Got different things going on here. Chapters, scenarios. Chapters, scenarios. Okay. And right on top, if you look at it from that point of view, it's chapter one. So there is some story, of course, going on in the game that we'll end up finding out. And all these have the same card back, as you can see. Let's take a look here. Uh, I like the artwork. It's kind of got this nice, you know, drawing look to it. Instead of like a computer generated or, or designed look like these, these have a good, you know, comic book looking art to it. Yeah, various people, animals, objects, all this kind of stuff. Vehicles, perhaps, things that you can do with these different cards. All right. So that 
is everything in the box, guys. Um, I don't want to do anything with these stickers until I see what they're for, if they're added at the beginning or added, you know, later. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Um, but I will, you know, I'll probably talk about what the game is like after my first couple plays on our podcast. So uh, that's also on the channel here called Mentor Minutes with my buddy Jay. Uh, that's also streamed to various, you know, um, podcast serving servers like Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, all that kind of stuff too, if you'd rather listen uh, instead of watch the video of us talking about uh, games and top tens, stuff like that. Uh, but on the channel, if you're new to the channel, we do a lot of uh, board game tutorials uh, to a month, as well as board gaming lore. I do board gaming news. So every two weeks I talk about the latest board game news in the industry, Kickstarters to look at, etc., etc. It's pretty cool. And it's a short little digest, like 10 minutes or 10 to 15 minutes or so. Um, yeah. And... Uh, Thanks guys for watching this unboxing. We've got plenty more unboxings if you're looking for that kind of thing. Uh, so make sure you like and subscribe uh, to the channel to see more. And if you want to comment, that's cool. I'll try to respond uh, as soon as I can to you guys. So thanks for watching. I've been Jared with the Meeple Mentor YouTube channel. I'll see you next time.